wide receiver, had a couple of touchdowns. Monte Watkins had an 80-yard touchdown run. Catch is made by Brady, so side, nobody topside. Aggies handed off for Jones, as stiff arm gets an extra yard or two after this in the third. Struggle to start the two halves. Pavia back to throw, swings it out for the running back star, Thomas. Thomas gets the first down, good second effort. Running back Jones again, RPO, Pavia will pull it. Pavio heaves downfield, has a man, it's caught. That's Trent Hudson. Tight end is Tomas Whitford. Hand off to Jones, good patience, a stutter, goes to the perimeter before he's up out of the screen. Tomas, the tight end, lined up at wide receiver. The Aggies hand it off to Monte Watkins, who had a rushing touchdown a week. Still back is Watkins. Right up the middle, start. Thomas will dart in the end zone. Homer, Louisiana native, helps the Aggies. Point after from Ethan Albertson. A quarterback, a transfer from FCS Northern Iowa. He rolls right, he's hit as he throws, and he overthrows his receiver. He had power five schools all over him, but shows the Aggies. Quarterback draw, and Morrissey is belted. And this season, in their first year in Conference USA, Adam Danny. Thank you, Tatiana. First down carry for Star Time. Pavia back to throw. Under pressure, and he can't escape. Good pressure. Really want to play for him. We'll have more about that in just a sec. Heavy pressure. Morrissey gets it loose as he's hit. Catch it. Expect to see a lot of pressure just by di like we did on that last play. Morrissey will pull it, and he gets the first down. He pulled it instead of hitting it off to. Tor Stretch hand off to Glatz. And he tries. Here at Northern Iowa. A little trickery. End around. 33rd career game. Morrissey tosses out of the reach of Glatz. He had him. Coverage from the line ball American at the FCS level. Right back to Jones. Jones, extra yards after the initial hit. Shimani Jones. Pistol back Jones. They fake it, rolling out Pavia. He can really run. He showed that a year ago. Pavia will fake it, and he's going to run it himself. That was a run by design there for Diego. He struggled on third down a week ago. Pavia, as the pocket collapses, he throws it. He has two men right there. It's caught by Chris Bellamy. David in motion. Running back is Jones. Jamani diving forward. He gets a... And that's all for the first quarter. That's it. Run the football. Stowers will pull it, and he angles into the end zone. Eli... Okay. Adam, how smooth is he? You know, I talked to Coach Beck. Defensive back, Donald Stowers, played for the Aggies, 91 through 93. He has a good read in there. I'm going to keep it, and I'm going to step in there. He's got that big... WIU trying to convert on third down for the first time, and they do so. It's Jay Parker, the 5'6", 100. Morrissey will hand it off. Goes right back to Chiquette. Right back to Choquette, trying to shimmy through a hole. Number 87, a transfer from Austin P. Morrissey will throw. He has a man, and it's caught. That's the running back, Choquette. And he's averaged 14 points per game a year ago. Jet sweep to Parker, trying to find the perimeter. He broke a tackle in issue. Morrissey will pull it, and he has nowhere to go. Taken down by... A very inexperienced kicking unit, by the way, for Western. It doesn't matter. Catch is made by Glatz, and he's upended. Ball at the five-yard line for Morrissey. Swings it out for Glatz again, trying to low catch, and it's broken up. BYU from the five-yard line. Heavy pressure. Morrissey hit as he throws, and he completes it. To in there, unloading to Jackson, who is wide open. And it is good. Stowers pulls it, his first throw of the year, and he overthrows Hut. Right back to the ground, big hole for Star Thomas. He gets to the third level. So changes the play call. Designed run for the quarterback, Pavia. He's won a lot of football games here. He pulls it, swings it out for Monte Watkins. Had his steam for Watkins. Boy, can he fly. Pavia on first down. He'll give it to Star Thomas, plunges up the middle. 
Pavia on second down. RPO, he'll pull it wide open. Jonathan Brady and the turf monster got it. Money back, look again. Pistol back is Watkins. They stretch it out for Thomas, and he rumbles inside the five-yard line. He's on Watkins. Sowers pulls it. It's the option. He pitches late, and it's Monte Watkins, his second touchdown this year. Good. So he missed his first one. Now he's made two in a row. Monte Watkins had an 80-yard touchdown run a week ago. Boom. Paul is out. Morrissey, quick drop, quick strike. And Eastern Illinois, four for six on a third down. They need the 48, and they get the 48 and then some. Up deep, and we're caught in the middle. Morrissey pumps and throws it away out of bounds. Closest receiver. We're going to hand it off to Choquette. Catches the Aggies off guard. Kirkland can't make the tackle, and Ryu. Danny, it sure seemed like the Aggies did not expect a run at all. Or sit back there and be comfortable. Latz had it in his fingertips. Now he runs on second down for six quarters of football this year. Heavy pressure, and Morrissey has to throw it away. A pair of Aggies right there. The extra yardage on the penalty. Pavia underneath again to a streaking Trent Hudson. We'll see if he gets more involved. Listed six foot, 200 pounds. Down and four. Pavia rolling left, and he overthrows Jonathan Brady. He had him on the sideline. Kick is away, and it is good. That's good Kick news is. there for Albert. Morrissey hands it off to Glatz. Runs right into the Aggie big defensive line. There's Dion is McKinney. They pick the sweep to him. They fly it out for the running back, Glatz. That's been successful. The running back, that was two years ago. Here's Glatz trying to bounce it to the edge. He can't do so. Off the city area. Pitch goes to Choquette. And Choquette. Morrissey, front side pressure, and he's dropped. Sone Alpiu. And Second down and three for the Aggies. They serve Bryce Childress. His first catch of the season is off for the right touchdown. Childress. Just a matter of time, Adam. You find one, you sneak. Went to Coffeeville Community College before becoming to step up. Morrissey, front side pressure, throws it away. Is this a fumble or a pass? Keyshawn Elliott's going to send the fumble recovery touch. Let it come play through all the way through, and then they'll fit. Back is Vessel. Heavy pressure again. This is coming from Keyshawn Elliott, and is the catch made. By and off to Glatz. Great tackle. Bounces to the outside, and he's pushed out of bounds by J.J. Durville. But then on third down. Screaming up the middle. Catch is made by Glatz, running far sideline, and Vessel gets to him. Pull from the 10. RPO, Morrissey will throw, and he throws it behind his intended target. And it's no good. Well, as we said, it leading to 21 points a week ago. Catch is made in strong. Brady, the young man on a big touchdown. JB is one of them, the speedster, and you're right. He's one of the playmakers. They wanted to get the football more. He touched in the St. Louis area, number 42 in crimson. Morrissey lets it fly. Pass is caught by A.J. Coons, the junior. So wide receiver, Cole Level. Man is wide open. Catch is made by McKinney. He makes a man miss, and he sneaks in it. All the way and good. So 37-21. Play. We've seen it from Childress and Brady so far in the quarter. Thomas gets to the second. It's been a good offensive quarter for NM State. Ball is loose. Pavia will scoop it up, but they're going to say he was down. He's trying to extend it. Pavia throws. Star Thomas hit as he catches, and he hangs on. Look once again. Pavia, RPO. He'll pull it. He'll swing it out for Watkins with running room, and he slips. Beaver, one of the Aggie tight ends. And off to Thomas, bounces off a tackle, drags and almost pulls away. They give it to Jones. Jones angles out left. Belted by Smith, who's been active. The Aggie 
Quarterback will throw it underneath to Hudson. He needs some yards after the catch. Maybe close. Running back. He will take it. He runs straight ahead, and he's gone. Fourth and one. No problem. The Louisiana native extends the Aggie advantage. From Albertson, right down the middle. Morris, he will hand it off. Glatz, nowhere to go. Keyshawn Elliott, the Unnecessary roughness call on the punt on the Aggies on Reggie Akel. So instead of being at midfield, coming in for Kanan Yarrow. First hours, he unloads downfield, has a man. Uh, it's hauled in by Jordan Parker. And so first of all, great play action up there. Danny, that was an absolute dime from Stowers. On only his second, and had nearly 2,200 passing yards a year ago. Tackle broken. Go Mojo. Hand off here, and it goes to Lorenzo McMillan. And here tonight. Hand off to Tim Gans. Danny Weaver. Third and one. They give it to McKaylin Young. Makes a man miss. Bounces to the edge. Look at the young man out of Midland. What happens when you get to college? It's it's less about four. Aggies have outscored WIU 38 to seven. Here, hole is at the 15. Eli Stowers, the quarterback. They give it to McMillan, and McMillan runs as Caden Stanton. Stowers will keep it, and he runs forty to hit somebody as far as blocking is concerned. Hand off to McMillan, and he's pulled back. Both those guys had a fantastic uh, game plan. Thomas, and then one from Young, one. 